Now, I want to do one more problem here uh, using the law of sines or the law of cosines uh, to find the sides and angles of a triangle. But in this case, I want to take a triangle that has an obtuse angle. Here, the obtuse angle is C. As I pointed out previously, the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> a triangle is never going to have more than one obtuse angle. Now, the problem that I anticipate arising, particularly if we use the law of sines, is uh, an ambiguity in computing uh, the sine of an angle. And that is, uh, I show that here in this little diagram right, right in here, this one. And that, imagine that I have uh, two angles here. I have one angle shown right here. Let me draw it again. One angle shown right here, this one, the blue angle. That's an obtuse angle. And then we have the red angle right in here. There's the red angle right in here. Now, so if we were just going to go out on this um, uh, length, this line, a length unit one in length, we drop the perpendicular to the y-axis. It's this length, this point right in here is the sine of the angle. And we see that this line at that, at the obtuse angle, and this line at the non-obtuse angle both have the same sign. Okay, and if I were going to compute, let's say this intersects right here at, uh, uh, right here at point eight. So if I were going to compute, I, and let's say I want to compute that large angle, the obtuse angle, I would do the arc sine of point eight. So arc sine of point eight. Now you put that in, uh, your calculator, we have uh, 0.8 enter, and I want to compute inverse sine, and we get um, 5.31, um, no, 53, this is 10 to the 1, so this looks like um, 53.1 degrees, so it's the acute angle and not the obtuse angle. So uh, we can end up potentially using uh, incorrect calculations. Now, a couple ways uh, of avoiding that problem, and I'll tell you, I'm, I'm not even sure that that problem arises uh, because I haven't, haven't looked at this that thoroughly to, to see. But we could potentially avoid that problem um, I, that I see in possibly one of two ways. One is, is we can always start our calculations with the two acute angles. So if we wanted to find the sides and angles on this uh, obtuse triangle, we start the calculations with, with angles A and B, and then we find angle C by just subtracting the sum of A and B from 180. Uh, the other thing we could do is not use the law of sines at all, and I think we end up being okay if we use just the law of cosines to do the calculation. So let me let let me do this. Let me find the the sides and angles on this triangle using only the law of cosines. Losing, I'm sorry, using only the law of sines. Okay, so let's figure out the sides first, A, B, and C. So I use the distance formula that you may have learned in. Uh, in, in, in geometry, you may have learned it in pre-calc or trig. Uh, you could even have learned it in, in Algebra 1. Um, and uh, so the distance formula says that A squared, this distance here squared, is equal to 11 minus 8 squared plus 6 minus 0 squared. 6 minus 0 is 6. So this is 3 squared plus 36, which is 45. So a squared is 45. a then is the square root of 45. So let's figure that out here with our calculator. I put in 45, enter, square root, and I get 6.7082. I'll just put 6.708. So a is 6.708.
day. Just double check. I always double check. I make lots of mistakes. So A is uh, 6.708. Now uh, B. So B, obviously B goes from 0, 0 up to 8, 0. B is just 8, which means that B squared is 64. There. C, on the other hand, is using our distance formula is 11 minus 0 squared. C squared is 11 minus 0 squared plus 6 minus 0 squared. So I have C squared is 11 squared plus 6 squared. That's 121 plus 36 and that is 157 which tells me that C is the square root of 157. Let's put that in here. 157, enter, square root, and that's 12.53. Uh, Twelve point five three, so that's C. So I've got a squared, a b squared b c squared c. So I now have all three sides on the triangle. Now I want to use, let's say, the law of cosines to find angle C, the obtuse angle. Now we apply the law of cosines there, uh, and we have the law of cosines for angle C. If you remember, is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine of angle c. Okay, c squared is 157 is equal to a squared, which is 45, plus b squared, which is 64 minus 2a, that's 2 times 6.708, times b, which is 8, times cosine of angle c. So we want to solve this for angle c. So I take, uh, then I have this, cosine of c is equal to 157 minus 45 minus 64, all divided by negative um, 2 times 6.708 times 8. So let's compute this out and see what we get the cosine of, of C to be. Now I'll pull my calculator over here. Okay, so I want to do 157, enter. 45 subtract, 64 subtract, divide it by 2 divide, 2 divide, 6.708 divide, 8 divide, and I want to change the sign, and I change the sign with this, there. So this is should be the uh, cosine of C. So we have cosine of C uh, equals um, negative 4 point, oh, sorry, that's not right. It's negative 0 0.4468. Seven two three. Lots of decimal places there. So I want to find. Um, so it's negative that. I want to find the arc cosine of that. That's what C will be. So C is the arc cosine of this number here. So I do inverse cosine, and I get it's one hundred sixteen point five seven degrees. So let's say one hundred sixteen point six. That's what angle C is. So, barring any mistakes, that's what angle C is. Now, we can use exactly the same approach now to find angle A and angle B. So, using the law of cosines gives us the correct answer for an obtuse angle. And, um, and like I said, we, now we could use this formula if we want. We could say that 
a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc um, of uh, cosine of angle A. And we could find angle A that way. Um, and then, uh, so if I do that, I have uh, A squared is, A squared is 45. B squared was 64, wasn't it? B squared is uh, 64. A squared equals 64 plus C squared. What was C squared? C squared was 157 plus 157 minus 2. And then B and C are 12.53 is C times B, which was. Uh, 8 times cosine of angle A. Okay, now, so I solve for cosine of angle A. I have cosine of angle A is equal to 45 minus 64 minus 157. 157, here, let me just erase that there. 157. 157 all divided by negative 2 times 12.53 times 8. So let me do this calculation here on my calculator. I have uh, 45, 45 enter, 64 subtract, 157 subtract, 2 divide 12.53, divide 8, divide, and, um, and then I have to change sign, so I get 0.878. So this is cosine of A is 0 0.8. 7, 8 to three decimal places. Um, that's what uh, this, when I get, e, this is a minus one means uh, times 10 to the minus one. So I move the decimal over. That's why it's 0.878. Now I want to find the arc cosine of that. So inverse cosine tells me I'm at 28.6 degrees. So A is equal to 28.6 six degrees. Now I can again use the law of cosines to find angle B, or I can say that B is equal to 180, uh, 180 minus 28.6 minus, and what was our angle C? 116.7, and compute angle of B uh, as that. But, so I have 180 Enter 28.6, subtract, and 116.7, subtract, and that becomes 34.7 degrees. So that's equal to 34.7 degrees. And I can check that by using the law of cosines for angle B and seeing if it's equal. And that law of cosines, I'm not going to calculate it, but I'll show you what it is, is B squared is equal to A squared plus C squared minus 2AC cosine of B. So you can plug in there and see if that works to double check your calculations. So. Now I've gone through a couple of examples. Next we want to program into Excel our spreadsheet exactly how we do that calculation. So uh, I'll take that up next time.